We want to bring in NBC4's Gene King. He is live in Castaic, where crews have been aggressively working to stop more homes from catching fire there. Gene. Good evening. This is just devastating to look at all of the damage. Uh, this was one of the homes nearly destroyed, we want to say here. We're not exactly sure how much damage there is, but this is Ryan Pugh. Uh, and Ryan, I'm so sorry about what happened to your uh, girlfriend's house. I know you said that there were several family members in there as well as pets. Um, how are you doing emotionally? How is your girlfriend? How's the family? So everyone's okay right now. We got all the dogs out. No one's physically injured, nothing like that. So, so the important stuff, you know, ourselves, our lives, we're all good. Um, but as far as it goes with all of our stuff, well, that looks like a different story. Um, but we're okay, though. Okay. We're glad to hear that. And, uh, you know, really, I'm so sorry this happened. How did you find out about this fire? So I was actually at my house, which is in Valverde. There was another, like, pop-up fire there also briefly. But I saw on the news that there was a fire that popped up right next to Lake Hughes Drive. And, of course, I know that's where my girlfriend lives. So as soon as I heard that, I got in my car and I drove over here to make sure everyone was okay. Um, I drove up right here. I figured out, I saw the smoke billing up from behind the, the house. And I made sure that the dogs weren't in there and Kyra was okay and her family was okay. And as soon as I figured that out, I left. I, I didn't see any actual flames, but I saw the smoke. This is uh, just devastating. Can we walk a little bit over closer to the house here? Uh, and Jorge, our photographer, is going to walk with us uh, just carefully. I know the firefighters are starting to wrap up. Um, but all of this stuff, I know the house is being gutted. What does this mean to your girlfriend's family? I'm seeing some uh, portraits, American flags, some uh, sculptures of dogs. Uh, to most people, that's just stuff, but this means so much more. Yeah. Well, when it comes to everything, I, I'm not sure how many uh, items were sentimental. Um, so I, I don't know if there's anything completely lost that means a lot to them. I know that they got their medication out. They got all the stuff they need. Um, but uh, we're still we're still just kind of in shock right now. It's crazy. I mean, you see all the houses around, and they look, you know, we're the ones that got hit. You see on the news, and then you see your actual house that's damaged by a fire, and you're like, wow, it actually happened. It's crazy. We want to show that. I mean, this house, uh, so much damage, and then, Jorge, if you pan right over just maybe about 25 feet away, this house uh, not even touched by any of the embers. We know here on the old road where we are in Castaic, uh, we heard there were a lot of flying embers going around. Um, I'm so sorry this happened, and uh, the best to you, uh, your girlfriend, and their family. Thank you so much, Ryan. Uh, that's very latest from Castaic. We're going to send it back to you.